What's going on guys, my name is Devlin and uh, today I'm bringing you a little uh, little game of Capture the Flag on uh, Grid. This level is called Grid, I believe. Um, it takes me a while to get the uh, the names of the levels down, like, I know all the levels by now, like, pretty, pretty well off by heart, like all the nooks and crannies and stuff, but I don't know, for some reason it just takes me a while to get all the names memorized. Guess it's not really a priority when when the map voting takes place. I don't I don't look at the name of the map so much as um, like the picture. So I know the pictures, but not the names. So uh, I do think this one's grid. Pretty sure uh, you're gonna see me stick around this objective right now. I was going for a couple of uh, pro perks uh, in this game, and one of them was uh, lightweight pro, which uh, you need to get offense medals, which means you need to kill enemies near their objective. Uh, now, at the time, I didn't know that you can pick up the flag, and when you kill anyone who's near you, you are their objective, because you've got, you're holding their flag, so that counts as an offense medal. I didn't know that at the time. I thought you had to kill them while their flag was down, and kill them around that, but that's not really the case. Um, I don't know. I kind of wish I figured that out a little sooner, because, like, I would be sacrificing flag caps just to sort of... I, I, I had to kind of camp around their spawn and their flag, which I don't like doing very much. Like, as you can see there, um, I was sitting up there waiting for people to come by for me to shoot, and I just got bored, and I jumped down and went for the flag cap. Um, so, in this game, I think I kind of sneak up on these guys. Well, I failed that knife, and then I think there's another one I get to. Yeah, right on. Um, so, in this game, I managed to get a, a pretty good kill-death ratio, and I managed to play the objective fairly well. And um, personally, for me, those are my favorite videos to watch. I, uh, I love it when somebody can uh, get the objective done well, you know, maintaining a pretty kick-ass kill death. I think that's what, uh, well, I think it's like the best way to show your skill in this game. Because, and, and you know what, I, I, I respect offensive uh, objective play a little more than defensive. Uh, simply, well, from commentators anyway, simply because it's harder to go on offense than it is to stay defense. Um, especially in terms of kill death because if you're defending the flag I mean you're just sitting there it's really easy to pick guys off as they come and try and take your flag so uh, don't get me wrong I mean every team needs somebody playing defense a couple people anyway and um, I always like to have uh, some people on my team like even in pub matches who are just willing to uh, kind of hang back and make sure they're not grabbing our flag but when it comes to uh, commentators posting games I'd rather watch them on offense because it's it's more exciting and it's a little more difficult to do. Um, obviously, when you're going into their spawn and picking up a flag or jumping on um, cap points and domination, planting bombs, obviously that's a little harder to do while maintaining a good kill death because you know you're putting yourself uh, at risk a lot more. You're exposing yourself a whole lot more. Um, so yeah, that's the kind of type of gameplay I like to watch, and that's sort of the approach I took in this game. Uh, I think I end up getting four flag captures for my team, and as you can see, I always, always dolphin dive onto the objective because that's what all the cool kids do. It's just the way it is. So if you guys don't dolphin dive on objectives, kind of, kind of don't think we can be friends. Sorry, it's just gotta, it's gotta be that way. It's gotta be that way. I mean, redeem yourself by all means. If you don't dolphin dive on objectives and you want to start now, that's cool. We can still chill, and I can still pretend like I know you, but. If uh, if not, then I don't know. I can't associate myself with you. It's just can't do it. Can't do it. Dolphin diving is probably the best addition to Black Ops. I said it. Yeah. My opinion is out in the open. Um, pretty much do it for no reason all the time. I like trying to dolphin dive out of the window in Nuketown and get like spray kills. I usually don't. Usually just get wrecked and look like an idiot. But it's pretty sweet when you pull it off. Anyway, uh, um, just went on a totally random rant about dolphin die. I don't know why I just did that. Uh, probably wasn't even that funny. Oh well. Um, back to the uh, the game a little bit. Uh, I, I mentioned I was going for lightweight pro. <clears throat> um, I'm also going for steady aim pro uh, in this match as well. So you're going to notice that I'm hip firing a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people when they watch uh, commentators and, and, and people who put their gameplay on YouTube, if they see them spray from the hip a lot, it's sort of like... A, I don't know, it's got like a stigma of like something that noobs do, noobs spray from the hip. But um, I've actually gotten, gotten better going for this, uh, this pro perk because it's really taught me that in some scenarios it's just a lot better to, to, uh, to f fire from the hip. It just works better. Um, I used to be one of those people who, uh, who would like ADS in every single firefight and every single encounter. 
And um, I'm, I look back, and in retrospect, that actually probably cost me some firefights. And it probably would have been a little more effective in a lot of those cases to just spray from the hip. So uh, I'm kind of learning now as I go uh, how to differentiate between situations where you should ADS and, and situations where you should hip fire. And uh, I think it's actually improving my gameplay quite a bit, and I find I'm getting better scores ever since I've been trying to keep that in mind. So if that's something you guys are um, guilty of as well, either ADSing all the time or even fighting from the hip all the time, um, really examine your own gameplay and try and, uh, try and figure out whether or not um, you could be in a more advantageous position switching it up now and then and trying to do both a little more in certain situations. So, um, yeah, just uh, give that a go. Uh, games wrapping up here. Before it ends, I want to give uh, uh, a quick apology to you guys for not getting uh, too many videos up lately. I've just been busy with work and going to the gym and haven't really found time to sit down and, and just commentate games. Like, I've got a bunch recorded, but it's just uh, getting them, sitting down and commentating them and all that kind of stuff. So I definitely want to apologize to you guys. I know for a long time I was putting up uh, two, two videos a week, a minimum, usually three. And now I think my last video before this one has it's been about two weeks. So that's just unacceptable. Not good. I'm definitely going to try to um, <clears throat> gonna try and fix that, get back on schedule a little bit, try and get at least two videos up every single week. Um, like, go figure. As soon as Black Ops comes out is when I start to get too busy to, uh, to put videos up. Um, so, yeah, definitely going to work on that. Hopefully you guys aren't too mad at me. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, final score there. I can't see on my preview window, but if I remember correctly, it's 22 and 1 with uh, four flag caps. And I don't know if there's any defense on there or not. Uh, so, yeah, that's it, guys. Peace out. Thanks for watching.